Peppa Goes Swimming, a Peppa Pig book. It's a beautiful warm summer day. Peppa and her family are at the swimming pool. Peppa, George, let Daddy put on your swimming armbands, says Mummy Pig. Today is George's first time at the pool and he's best scared of getting in the water. Why don't you just put one foot in, suggests Daddy Pig. Maybe George should try both feet at the same time, says Mummy Pig. Splash! Mummy Pig convinces George to jump into the water and he loves it. Grunt! Hee hee hee! Snort! Shouts George happily. Ho ho! Well done, George! Snorts Daddy Pig. Rebecca Rabbit, her brother Richard and their mother arrive at the pool too. Hello everyone, cries Rebecca. Squeak, squeak, says Richard. Richard, hold on to this float so you can practice kicking your legs, says Mrs. Rabbit. George, would you like to try kicking your legs too, asks Mummy Pig. Hee hee hee, snot, giggles George. Ho ho, very good, laughs Daddy Pig. But please try not to splash. Big children don't splash, adds Peppa. Big children are very good at swimming, declares Peppa. When George and Richard are older, they will be able to swim like us, won't they, Rebecca? Yes, says Rebecca, as she watches the boys kick and splash. Peppa and Rebecca race each other up and down the pool with their swimming armbands on. They are having lots of fun swimming and splashing in the water. Whoops! Richard has dropped his toy watering can into the pool. Mommy! Meh! cries Richard. Sorry Richard, I can't reach it. It's too far down, says Mrs. Rabbit. Luckily, Daddy Pig is an excellent swimmer. He takes off his glasses and dives down to get it. Ho ho, there you go, snorts Daddy Pig. Squeak, squeak, says Richard. Well done, Daddy, says Mummy Pig. Yes, thank you, Daddy Pig, says Mrs. Rabbit. Oh dear! Richard is so happy to have his watering can back that he splashes Daddy Pig with water. He 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 he, George laughs. What a silly little piggy and rabbit. Everyone has had a fun day swimming at the pool. Doctors to the rescue, a Peppa Pig book. It is a sunny day. Peppa and her friends are playing outside. Petro Pony shouts. Diddles the tortoise is stuck in a tree. I can get him down, says Pedro. I will give the tree a little shake. Pedro shakes the tree. Diddles falls down and lands on Pedro's nose. Ow, says Pedro. That hurt. Madam Gazelle, Pedro is hurt, says Peppa. Do not worry, says Madam Gazelle. I will call Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear is a doctor who helps children when they are sick or hurt. Dr. Brown Bear answers his phone. I am on my way, he says. Dr. Brown Bear looks at Pedro's nose. You need a bandage, he says. The bandage makes Pedro's nose feel better. Thank you, says Pedro. But now my glasses do not work. Can you fix them? No, says Dr. Brown Bear. You need an eye doctor for that. Madam Gazelle calls Dr. Pony. 
Dr. Pony is Pedro's dad. He is also an eye doctor. He gives Pedro an eye test. Your glasses are just muddy, says Dr. Pony. He cleans Pedro's glasses. Hooray! Pedro's glasses are fixed. Pedro is feeling better. His glasses work again too. But Tiddle is still not well. We'll call the vet, says Madame Gazelle. A vet is a doctor who takes care of pets. Dr. Hamster the vet arrives. Tiddles, you little pickle, she says. What have I told you about climbing trees? Dr. Hamster flips Tiddles back onto his feet. Now he feels better. Just then, Dr. Elephant arrives. He is a dentist. A dentist is a doctor who looks after teeth. Are everyone's teeth okay? He asks. Yes, say the children. Then I will be on my way, says Dr. Elephant. But Dr. Elephant cannot leave. His car will not start. Who do we call when a car is sick? Asks Peppa. I know who to call, says Madam Gazelle. Madam Gazelle calls Grandad Dog. He knows how to fix cars. Good as new, he says. Hooray! Cheer the children. Grandad Dog is a doctor for cars, says Peppa. Hehe. <laughs> Even cars need doctors. All the doctors saved the day.